friends, I have a read aloud for us today, but this one's going to be a little different. You'll notice usually when I read to you, I just have a picture of the book on the screen or whatever text I'm reading. This one is kind of not exciting to look at, but it's going to be a good story to listen to. So I'm just going to record me reading it to you and you can listen to the story. Now, if you are able to join our Google Meet on Tuesday, this is that video. This is the text I'm gonna read then. But I know not everybody's going to be able to join, so I'm uploading it on YouTube as well, just so everybody, if you wanna to listen to it again after the Google Meet, great. So this story is called Michael's Melody. Thanks again, everybody, for the awesome presence. It was Michael Adams, birthday and his family had gathered to celebrate. Michael had just opened his final gift, a striped sweater from his grandmother. Frankly, he was pretty sure that his pile of gifts this year was a lot less exciting than usual, but he was too polite to let his disappointment show. As Michael's brother began clearing away dirty dishes and discarded wrapping paper, their father stood up and headed toward the hall closet. Hold on a minute, said Mr. Adams with a twinkle in his eye. I think we may have forgotten a gift. When his dad returned with a large oblong box, it's a big skinny box, Michael knew immediately what was inside. It was the professional keyboard he had been asking for all year. Now, I wonder how Michael knows what's inside the box. He said the shape was oblong, so maybe he's thinking he's been asking for this for a long time. He knows what kind of shape it's going to be. And so why was Michael, do you think he was disappointed before his dad went to the closet? Because it sounds like he had been asking for this particular gift all year and he hadn't opened it. And when it says a keyboard, it's talking about this kind of keyboard, not like a computer keyboard, like a little piano, basically. Michael's parents claimed that he'd been born with a tune in his head, and it was true that he had always loved music. At an early age, Michael showed exceptional talent for making music. Michael could hear a song just once and repeat the melody accurately and on pitch. His talent was something of a mystery to the rest of the family. Your father can't carry a tune in a bucket and neither can I, his mother often claimed, and Michael had to admit she was right. Michael's parents were eager to nurture his abilities and so, over time, they'd given him dozens of toy instruments. When he reached kindergarten, his parents presented Michael with an electronic keyboard, which was perfect for a five-year-old prodigy. But now that Michael was in fourth grade, he was ready for something much more professional. So why is Michael's talent a mystery to his family? It, well, when mom said that dad can't carry a tune in a bucket and neither can I, that means that they can't sing, that they sound bad when they sing. That's what she means by that. Thank you so much, mom and dad, he exclaimed, grinning at his gleaming brand new professional keyboard.